Buenos dias one last time from Mexico City here at Automotive Logistics and Supply Chain, where we're just wrapping up uh, the biggest and best conference that we've put together here in Mexico, if I don't say so myself. You might notice I'm a little bit more relaxed at this stage after three days of uh, intense discussions on stage, deep dives across basically every aspect of the value chain, uh, the challenges we're facing from capacity and service right through to, to trade policy and, and government side and what it, what it might mean in the years ahead. Um, but uh, as I've mentioned a few times, this uh, audience has brought such energy and such optimism uh, while still facing the challenges ahead that I'm certainly leaving here uh, very positive and, and very, very pleased at what we've been able to share. Today in the last day of the conference, we had really strong focus on digitalization, on, on transformation, on partnership and on skills or the talent, if you like, aspect of the industry. In the morning, uh, we heard from BMW's Raul Gamboa about um, and a series of digital initiatives at BMW's plant here in, in Mexico, uh, which includes both uh, homegrown apps developed for things like freight authorization, for simplifying processes, material control, um, right through to using BMW's uh, cloud to integrate data and information from across the supply chain and really mitigate some of the issues. And then, then looking ahead to, to things that can come, be it humanoid uh, robots in logistics and autonomous vehicles being used in yards. So very exciting picture. And it, it, it directly kind of feeds into the talent picture and, and the skills and that will be needed to keep Mexico uh, competitive and, and thriving in the, in the years ahead. Uh, we invited students from local universities to join us uh, at the event today to both learn but also just as importantly to share ideas with, uh, with our leaders. We, we had a workshop uh, to get together with Kia's Ricardo Ortega uh, and others who shared their experience uh, in, in logistics here in Mexico, the career advice, um, and also asked to be challenged, if you like, as well, on what they need to understand to be better employers to make this industry more attractive. Um, because so many things are changing at once, right? We have EV production rising in Mexico, even as EVs face its own challenges, both in supply chain and production. So we heard about what, what needs to happen in logistics to facilitate that transition. And as ever, it always often comes down to stronger, closer partnerships put together a panel uh, with GM's Monica, uh, Monica Garcia, who's leading purchasing and supply chain for GM Mexico, along with other representatives from the industry, uh, talking about how the industry needs to work together more, of course, to adapt, um, needs new ideas coming in, needs to challenge one another, and an open platform for sharing, because although long-term partnerships are an important part of this picture, uh, and perhaps even more important, important with new competitors on the market, putting more pressure on capacity and price um, this open sharing and trust to be able to build the relationship and be ready to adapt and change was definitely some of the key messages that, that came out of that will only be more important in, a, in an uncertain world uh, that we, we live in and an uncertain supply chain uh, uncertainty about what will come uh, to certain aspects of, of trade policy and the market to come but as long as providers, suppliers, manufacturers are sharing information, communicating together, there's a, all the chance in the world to be successful in this transition again. Um, it's been a pleasure, as always, to be with you, uh, to share this journey. Uh, we're sharing, you'll start to see over the next days, more of our Red Sofa interviews, highlights with key speakers and leaders uh, across the industry here in Mexico, um, really sharing dedicated insights uh, that help to show what a platform we have at Automotive Logistics. It's a platform to connect experts, bring experts together, bring experts the information that matters most to them. And that's just what we're doing here in Mexico and of course at other places around the world. So you'll find out a lot more about that if you follow our blog where there's updated information of what happened across the event, more on the videos that are coming, and deep dive reporting, uh, which our team in London is already working on, following up in Mexico, connecting on what it means for North America and other regions around the world. So for now, muchas gracias. It's once again been my pleasure. We're already gearing up for next year. We'll make it even bigger and better. Uh, and I'd love sharing every moment of it with you and wishing you all the best in Mexico City. We'll see you real soon.